with Matilda. Huh? Huh? You've decided to stay loyal to huh? Matilda. That has she stayed loyal to you. Priority. Yes, Dante. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh, hey! Don't try to tell me about myself. Period! God. I'll make it clear. And you can't be a watermelon son, so... Someone else twisted your words? Yeah. I think so, yeah. That doesn't make me kiss someone in bed that you don't have a spark for. Period! I don't think Sean is as sweet as I thought he was. If they weren't special enough to be sat here, so... Wow! And um, Matilda, what about your time? Guys, what the hell was that? <clears throat> Good chest move. Very deep is Troy. Troy, Troy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's not deep, honestly, it's not deep. Yeah, they're not that deep. Alright, both of you, through the top of them. <laughs> well, let's talk about you and Hugo mm -hmm. then. You seem very happy. Yeah. Is it? Yes, Jess. Yeah, yes. Who does not follow all this? Well, girls do, don't they? Exactly. Oh! Alright, Trey, calm down, mate. Oh! <laughs> Oh, ha ha! Then this is some good TV. I've decided to stick with Uma. Oh my god! She, oh my god! I knew these men would do this. I knew these men would do this. I knew these men would do this. Oh, you're pissing. She walks in with a new boy. Makeup. You're dumb. Why would you be taking girls to? You're taking girl. You're taking girl to terrorists and kissing, and then you want to be a pussy over when it comes to it. You don't want to do it with your chest. This is what these men are doing, bro. It's just, it's just annoying. It's not really funny, is it? I'm probably laughing. Yes. Don't even. It's a bit mean, isn't it? Huh? The girls and the crying. It's mm. Yeah, I'm not laughing at that. Just, you're not one to talk. Just leave me alone, please. Oh, drag her! Drag her! Drag her! Alright. Yes. I'm glad he's stuck with his chest. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, cool. I can't, guys, I can't do this. I can't, I just can't. This is, this is. Stay strong, babe, stay strong. Do not cry. Chef's kiss, baby. Diamond, Diamante or Diamante, the way that she just whacked all of these people. She whacked them all. She whacked them all. Jess, whack. Sean, whack. Matilda, whack. As if she was at the circus playing that game. And she's just whacking the moles. She's just whacking each and every one. She just goes, whack, whack, whack. And this would have to be me. Because if you now are going to pick me and I'm excited and you know I'm thinking there's a connection and suddenly you want to backtrack go to your old girl and you've played me I'm bringing the whole house down Drakaris bitch everybody's going down we're all going down together Everybody the spirit guys let me come closer we need to all come in unison together and we need to work on rising the spirit of Gregory the spirit of Gregory has to return in this villa immediately swoop Mimi off her feet and then she will win this season of Love Island. She has been the main Casamore victim. She's an OG. She's been talked about the most right now more than anybody else. She's getting a good edit in this way and her social media is currently boosting. This may look like she's in a negative place, but she actually isn't. We know how this game works. We need somebody to swoop her in and then she will win the show. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. This was hands down one of the best Casa Amor episodes I've ever experienced watching. I think it was absolutely thoroughly great. Like I just, I could not help myself but start tweeting again because I just felt like this shit was so freaking good. This was some good TV. This is what we missed from Love Island. It was better than last year's Casa Amor by a mile in my personal opinion and definitely season nine and it was up there with season, season eight wasn't even that great either outside of what India was saying. I don't think anything else about season eight was that iconic in my opinion. Maybe I've forgotten. Um, somebody can remind me but I think it's definitely up there with season five and season seven. I think it's definitely in that top three for me. It's probably the second best in my opinion or you know just behind season seven because season seven had a good cast and more. Let me know what your rankings are of that because I'm also intrigued. But where do we even begin?
I knew Will would take back Umar. If you're going to be a man and you're going to obviously kiss a girl with your chest, take them to the terrace and whatever, why are you now suddenly then chickening out when it comes to the day because you want to please the girl that you're currently with? I don't like when people do that. Stick with the person that you're with. They should make a rule that if you become intimate with somebody, that's the person you're bringing back by force because it's really crazy that, you know, he can just do that. But we're going to park that to the side and get into Diamante or Diamante. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. I think it's Diamante. Diamante whacked everybody. She whacked everybody left, right and centre and I'm so happy and glad that she did so. I'm so glad that Diamante whacked all of these people because it definitely was deserved. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for you to think the, fa the fact that Jess was always constantly piping up, I'm glad that she whacked Jess. I'm glad she whacked Matilda because Matilda, when she said, I'm sat here, baby, or not, whatever she said, she ate with that line. I'm not going to lie. Matilda ate, but she was doing way too much. And of course, you know, Sean, you know, saying that he brought clarity. No, you didn't, babes. He brought no clarity. Sean and Matilda and the way that they were acting, they've lost any chance of winning in my eyes because I think their rudeness towards the Casamor girls was just very unnecessary, especially towards Ruby. She didn't even come on any angst. So I don't understand why Matilda even felt that way. And Diamante was explaining her feelings about Sean to Maya, not to Matilda. So why is she there doing spokesperson and cheerleader when you've heard that your man has been having multiple connections with somebody in the villa? I don't understand. So I don't know what she's trying to do here in this position, but it doesn't make any sense to me. None of it makes any sense to me, guys. And I think that this she's a high school mean girl. It's given year nine. It's given Tracy Beaker, Justin Little. Well, that's what it's given to me. And I'm just kind of over her now. Don't know why she is there. She is truly delusional to be going after the girls who've had a connection with your man when your man is meant to be loyal to you. It doesn't make any sense to me. Something in the buttermilk is simply not clean when it comes to Matilda. I'm over her. The ship has sailed. The ship hasn't even sailed, guys. The ship has sunk. Point blank period. The ship has sunk. Jess walking in and obviously, you know, mispronouncing Trey's name. Um, and then at the same time, them going back and forth to me was hilarious. Jess, whenever she's annoyed, she is good TV. I'll give you that. She definitely gives it when she needs to. She's not afraid or shies away from confrontation. So when it comes to those moments, they can be annoying but entertaining at the same time. So her and Trey are going back and forth. I'm not really interested in them as a couple, but I just find them to be absolutely hilarious. Mimi... You can't see me. Do you understand? Mimi, Mimi, you can't see me. Do you understand? Mimi has to win the show now. And I wanted her to really drag him there and then. But you know what? You're going to be true to yourself at the end of the day. And if you're true to yourself, you're just going to be yourself. And Mimi is not somebody who's argumentative. She just like keeps things to herself. Obviously, gets irritated here and there, but isn't going to just, you know come at somebody like that. That's just not who she is. So whilst everybody was waiting for Mima to say her moment and to say her piece, you know, she just, did, she just didn't want to say anything in that moment. She was just shocked and upset and I felt really sorry for her. Absolutely. Ayo is very manipulative. We've got to get into this now. And I don't think it's with intention. I think he's just genuinely delusional. For him to be upset at Mimi to say, you're pushing away from me now, right after he connected with somebody, brought them back in and embarrassed her and not seeing where he's being hypocritical, to me is absolutely scary. Men are scary. You directly are a hypocrite in front of her face, yet you want something from her when you've taken so much from her at that time. I'm so glad that Mimi has deaded the situation, but right now I don't believe it's deaded. We know how Love Island works. It can go from here to here within two, three days. You know, they can take each other back like that. I don't want Mimi to take this man back. I want Mimi to get somebody else. I'm glad she deaded it. The fact that Ayo think that he can take his cake and have another cake is insane to me. You've picked somebody else. Go and be with your girl. You've made your bed. Go and lie in it. For the fact that you sit there and you want to obviously, you know, come back with Mimi, it doesn't make any sense. But inadvertently, he's done her favours because now she's the one that everybody's talking about. She's the main Casamore victim. She's the main character. She's an OG already as it is, which massively helps. Everybody's talking about her. She's the one with a good edit. She can find somebody new to come in and super in the public are in her favour. So she's in good hands. Mimi now has a chance to win this show, especially with a boost of, you know, being, you know, somebody people feel, you know, sorry for. We know how this game works. It could potentially work in that favour. Mimi has to win. I'm so sorry, Kieran and Nicole. I don't really, I don't really see it for them. I'm surprised by Kieran's behaviour with Casa Amor. He did very well. He did very well. Also, guys, I didn't give you guys reviews for the last couple of days. I'm sorry, but I was just in New York and bored with the show. But this Casa Amor has helped me get back into it. Kieran did very well. I'm not surprised. I am surprised. Um, I don't know why Nicole's makeup was doing... It was doing birthday party makeup. It was doing, you know, um, I don't know what it was doing. The concert, everything was just different. But, you know, I guess she was just excited and nervous to see her man. But, you know, her crying and etc. I don't know, like, I just feel like Nicole, for me, um, you know, I'm just not really feeling her, to be honest with you. And I just feel like these two won't make it out on the outside. I'm not really invested in their couple. We've seen how angst 
Nicole gets about everything that Kieran does and it bothers him. They drop the L word, but at the same time, Kieran, I feel like, knows you can't drop the L word and then go find another girl because that makes you look like an idiot. So I feel like Kieran is playing some kind of game. We'll see how it works with them on the outside, but I just don't see them two making it because I feel like A, Kieran has treated them before and he's expressed that in the rugby player field, etc. And, you know, Nicole gets angry at every little thing that this man does. It's going to chase him away. I just don't see these two working on the outside. But I definitely see Kieran and Nicole in the finale and I feel like both of them see themselves in the finale as well especially after today's Casa Amor. We have to understand that these islanders are reflective. You know, at this point, they know where they stand when they come in and they're loyal or not. Joey Essex and Jesse, again, I don't care. Like, I feel like nobody cared about Joey Essex in this episode. Everybody's talking about Mimi, and that's probably why this episode was good. We don't want Joey Essex on Love Island. We don't want this man anywhere near the show, personally, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm not really intrigued by him um, at all. And so him and Jesse recoupling, they thought it was given main character, but really it was given C, C D side characters, Love Island bottles, Love Island furniture, you know, the dead hair on Prince William's head. That's what their relationship is given to me. I'm so sorry. I'm not here for the airtime. Nobody really cared about it. Grace bringing back... I feel like Grace brought that guy back, not because she was massively into him, but because she wanted to intimidate Joey. I feel like that was the reason, because the paint in her eyes was was very present when Joey wanted to stick with the girl wishing that Jesse was Grace. Grace wanted to be in that position and she obviously is still butthurt about it because she knows that not only does she like Joey but Joey is a presentable you know has a repertoire on the outside that could help her and her businesses and etc. So she of course had so much foresight with how things thought you know would go and evidently it didn't go that way for her. This was one of the best Casamore episodes. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did as well. I am definitely going to be doing a Love Island event I'm letting you guys know now, and I'll be announcing it soon in a week or so in regards to location and event um, tickets, because last year, the tickets went so freaking quickly. Like, it went so quickly, guys, the tier, the um, the tickets, um, that I had to add another round, and then after that, I wasn't able to add any more. And it's not going to be 21+, plus. it's going to be 18+. plus. I've heard you guys, some of you guys have been really upset from 18, 19, 20, 20, you know, who really want to come. So it is going to be 18+, plus. but I'm definitely going to be doing it. After this episode, we have to see Mimi in that finale. And if we see Mimi in that finale, there's a chance that she could win. Now, I know we were disappointed last year with Whitney when we thought she wanted her to win. But at the same time, you never know what could happen. And I do feel like we need to do an event this year. Last year was packed. We were all together. That beautiful Trini food was amazing. Like, I'm ready. I want to announce it soon. I'm just letting you guys know because when it is announced, you guys got to get into it because they will go quickly. Subscribe or comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are on this Casa Amor episode. It was absolutely chef's kiss, baby. Diamond, Diamante or Diamante, the way that she just whacked all of these people. She whacked them all. She whacked them all. Jess, whack. Sean, whack. Matilda, whack. As if she was at the circus playing that game. And she's just whacking the moles. She's just whacking each and every one. She just goes whack, whack, whack. And this would have to be me. Because if you now are going to pick me and I'm excited and you know I'm thinking there's a connection and suddenly you want to backtrack go to your old girl and you've played me I'm bringing the whole house down Drakaris bitch everybody's going down we're all going down together everybody's getting dragged and everybody that wants to come for me is going to get whacked as well so for just to pipe up and make a noise about a situation that has nothing to do with it talking about oh this is not funny coming like some teacher or some Karen you need to get whacked do you understand and I'm glad that she did that. She whacked them all. This is a Casamore legend. This is what the other Casamore Islanders should have done in the previous um, years and the future ones perhaps watching this. You lot need to take note that if you get rejected, at this point, what do you have to lose? Whack everybody. She whacked them all left, right and centre. And she was a Casamore legend. In my eyes, she did what she needed to do. I'm glad. I'm grateful that she did what she needed to do. Point blank, period. Subscribe, please. It's just one click. Let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. A Love Island event is coming, baby. We're all gonna turn up together. It's gonna be cute. The music, the everything, the gifts, the, what, what, the food, everything is just gonna bang. Like, but it's... Mimi, you can't see me. Do you understand?